Through these years, I have seen many promising reforms rise, fall, or get misunderstood. Sometimes the idea is right, but the timing is wrong. We are here to tackle Senate Bill 1330, an act mandating the establishment and implementation of a national budget blockchain system to enhance transparency, accountability, and public participation in the Philippine budget process, or the Philippine National Budget Blockchain Act. I was among the first to oppose the original version of the blockchain bill, and I received my share of criticism because of it. People asked me why I would stand against a reform that sounded progressive. The answer has always been simple. Senator Bam Aquino proposed it with sincere intent. He wanted to institutionalize transparency in the movement of public funds and close the long chain of blind spots that hide waste and abuse. The intention was correct. The purpose was correct. But the first draft used language that sounded like the law was mandating a specific technology. What are we actually trying to solve? If a law is built around a single technology, it becomes fragile. It becomes outdated the moment the next innovation arrives. Technology moves fast. Systems get replaced. Tools evolve. Laws must outlive technology. So let me walk you through how the bill transforms. 